All right, new to number, you've probably heard the number before. It's the one you hear on News 8 almost daily, 317-262-TIPS. It's how you get in touch with Crime Stoppers. But what is the process to ensure your name stays anonymous if you call? News 8's Julian Grace explains. We've been on the front lines watching detectives work, but sometimes their job is impeded. Shh. All because no one wants to talk. But people are calling. Crime Stoppers, that is. And the group is on the verge of breaking a record in receiving tips. Tips are coming in. Um, it looks like we're going to have another record year. That'll be the fifth or sixth year in a row that we've had record years for tips submitted. So the public is submitting information. We are learning that Crime Stoppers goes through a series of platforms to protect the callers that call in just to make sure their identity is kept safe. We will do everything that we can possibly do to make sure that they don't get exposed, that, that they're anonymous. We've been doing this for 30 plus years, 35 years almost, and we've never given up a tipster and we don't plan on starting now. Just last year, 7,640 tips were called in which resulted in 334 arrests, and the tips keep coming in. They call literally morning, noon, and night. It, there is no, it's almost, it trails off a little bit in the middle of the night, but then it picks right back up very early in the morning and then just keeps building through the day. Then there are those who are waiting for the right tip to come in. We're in the neighborhood trying to pass these out and raise awareness. To find out who took their loved one away. And that was Julian Grace reporting. About 60% of the reward money is actually left on the table. Sergeant DeBow says that sometimes people call in tips to do the right thing for the right reasons because they want to clean up their neighborhood and get someone off the streets.